Hey guys, this is Leah with Scott Lori Marketing, and in today's tip video, I'm going to talk about a brand new DocuSign feature that is super exciting. Uh, KW rolled this out this week. Um, it is March, beginning of March here, so this was just rolled out at the beginning of March 2021. Very exciting, highly sought after feature in DocuSign to be able to create form templates from the interactive forms in your library. So your board forms that are in your DocuSign library, you can now create uh, pre-filled templates. So you can, you know, go ahead and type in a lot of the info that would be on, you know, most every listing agreement or most every buyer agency agreement so that the information is already pre-populated on the form when you apply the template and then you already have to, or then you only have to fill in the remaining fields. And of course you can make adjustments adjustments to the template, you know, if, if something varies um, on what you put in when creating the template. So let's take a look at how we now create form templates and apply the form templates to our DocuSign room. Now, of course, in this situation, I have already created an opportunity in KW command, right? That's how you'll always want to be starting transactions in command. You'll want to start that by creating an opportunity in command to then click start a transaction to create your room in DocuSign. Okay, so that's how all these rooms have gotten in here. And if you're new to DocuSign, I'm going to put a 20 minute overview um, tip video in the description of this YouTube video so that you can see A to Z, how to start and manage transactions in command with DocuSign. That would be a good first step for you. All right, and then after that, so now that we're ready to create this form template, we'll actually come on to the top of your DocuSign account. All right, so if you are not logged into DocuSign already, Make sure you are at realestate.docusign.com. You can always pause the video so you can get logged in. Again, that's realestate.docusign.com. So the real estate version of DocuSign. And then we're selecting My Docs on the very top white toolbar. So we are selecting My Docs on the top white toolbar. And we now have a brand new option on this uh, toolbar, which is called Form Templates. So let's go ahead and select that. And that will take you over to any form templates that you have already created. Since it's a brand new feature, I would guess that you'll have none in here already. So that's fine. Yeah, this should be blank. And we'll actually be clicking Create Form Template on the top right. So I'm gonna overview these steps again so that you can jot them down if you would like to in your notes. And of course, guys, pause the video anytime to follow along. All right, step one was we logged into realestate.docusign.com. Step two, we are selecting My Docs on the very top. Step three, form templates on the toolbar below that. And step four, create form template. Blue button on the top right. Now once I do that, once I click create form template, this should look pretty familiar. This is what it looks like when you bring forms into your DocuSign room. Um, so this should make you a little more comfortable on how to navigate to find your um, forms that you need or that you want to create a template on. So on the top drop down, you do have two options here, the DocuSign form group. And if I leave the, I'm sorry, DocuSign form library. And if I leave the library option selected at the top, right, that will show me my, you know, forms for my MLS and my local board. However, I prefer changing the first drop down to the option for DocuSign form group. The reason is, is that it'll break down your forms even further so your office can create form groups for you. Um, so yours will of course look different than mine as your office puts this together for you. But I would recommend checking that out to see if that has it a little more organized to make it easier for you to find the form you're looking for. So once we do that, once we select the group, we can use the form finder, the search bar right here to search for any forms you might need seller disclosure, whatever it's called in your area. You can of course scroll to find any forms and we're simply clicking the checkbox, the check, check dot to the left of the form that you want to go ahead and use to create a template on. All 
and we'll click use on the bottom. Now while that's loading, you will notice on the very top, you have the ability to edit the form name right, or the template name. The reason this is important and really comes in handy is you can actually save several versions of the same form template. So for example, you know, if you want to save one for, you know, a finance deal versus a cash deal, right? Because maybe the template information, um, you know, the form information would be different for each of those situations. You can save the same form template twice as long as you edit the name. So for example, if I were to, you know, click this pencil icon on the top left, I could change the name and that is required to same, save the same template twice, just heads up. All right, so I could add, let's say, like cash at the top. So if I want to have, you know, a form for or a template for my cash deals and a template for my finance deals, I could have both of those in here. So we can say, change the name at the top, and then we'll simply click the little check mark here to save that. So now I want to go through and add any information to the form that is generally on every listing agreement or whatever form you brought in. This information is changeable once you pull it into your DocuSign room. So, you know, if it applies to most transaction use a listing agreement, you know, you're safe to go ahead and add that to the template because any of this information can be changed. So if you want to scroll through and start, you know, putting in things that would apply for every transaction, let's say maybe like your brokerage name at the top. And again, I know this form, this is a North Carolina listing agreement. So of course your form will look slightly different, but it'll be a good example as the concept will be the same. Um, so as you scroll through, you can go ahead and check any check dots or, um, or check boxes that would apply for again, most transactions as this is changeable when you actually apply this. We don't really wanna put in any address information, right? Cause we're just creating a template, right? So that address will be brought in from the details section of the room when I apply this template to that actual transaction. So, you know, a, a big thing, you know, I know a lot of these fields, depending on your area, maybe you'll write, you know, NA if that does not apply. So, you know, I personally, for the listing agreement, when going through this, there's quite a few fields that I'll put NA. So I could go ahead and add that in. And then, so it's saved. And of course, I can change it if that does actually apply to the transaction. All right, so since this is cash, I'll select that, and then I can continue going through this, as you guys can see. So I'm going through and just filling in all the information that in general would be on your listing agreement. And once you're done with that, and you can pause the video, of course, if you're still working on filling that in, we can go ahead and click Save and Close on the very top. So clicking Save and Close. Once we have filled out the entire template to our liking. And so we have all our templates listed here. Okay, I was practicing earlier, so I have one now for cash and finance. So the same form, just for my cash and finance deal separately. So I just wanted to show you how to apply that to an actual room when that comes in handy. So I'll show you that in a second here. But on the right hand side, just a few things to note, you can edit the template at any time. You can also copy it, which might really come in handy if like I'm saying you have, you know, you want to use the same template, but you know, change that up for cash versus finance deals. You would have the option to copy the template and change that up just a little bit. You can also delete it from here as well. And just a heads up, these templates cannot be shared. So these are only in your account. They cannot be shared with team members or, you know, other agents in your office quite yet. Um, KW might be adding that in in the future. However, for right now, these cannot be shared, only used by you. So now let's take a look at how we would actually apply those templates to our DocuSign room, to an actual transaction. So to do so, I'm going to go ahead and open up the rooms. Okay, so on the very top toolbar, I can click on the rooms option to access all of my DocuSign rooms right away. I can go ahead and click to open the opportunity I want to apply the template to. Okay, so once I have the, the room opened, I need to go into the document section 
of my room. Now, in order to use the template, you will have to have the actual form added to your room already. So in this example, I have the listing agree agreement already added in, all right? But if you're not familiar with how to add the form to your actual DocuSign room, you would do that from the document section of your room. We'll click on add on the top right. And this, this, these templates apply to the DocuSign forms specifically. So you'll notice this icon right here, right? That little blue forms icon. Um, and this is actually a good example since I have some in my room already, right? It corresponds with these little icons right here. So the form templates are only able to be applied to the forms that have this little blue form icon because that notes it or denotes it as a interactive form, um, a form that if I open it, I'll just be able to start typing in it. It's one of my board forms, okay? So if I come up to add up here and select the second option down for DocuSign forms, this should look very familiar, right? This is what it looked like for the template section. So it'll be the same concept here to find that same form. So I can, you know, search through my library or group, whatever works for you, search through the actual group name itself, and then go ahead and check the ones to bring that in. Okay, since I already have it in my DocuSign room, it won't let me bring it in a second time. All right, but just to show you guys how to, you would pull in your forms, I would simply click on that dot and click to add to pull that in right away. And once you have added the form to your DocuSign room, applying the template is super easy. All you'll do is actually right click on the form. And remember, this has to be a form with that blue form icon. And we're just going to apply the form template. So we're right clicking on the form and clicking apply form template. Now, once I do that, since I did create multiple templates for the same form, that's why it's giving me both options here. So I just wanted to show you guys that. So you can go ahead and select the form template that might apply in this case. Click apply. Okay, and now once I open the form up, so I saw that green banner confirming that the template was successfully applied. I can go ahead and open that form up just to skim through and make sure that information did autofill onto my forms. So if I scroll down, I'll start to see, you know, the dots that I selected off default, right? I see all the NAs that I have added in, you know, that I selected it was a cash deal and so forth, right? So this is all pulling over from the actual template. Uh, you will so see some other information autofilling, like your client's information, your brokerage information, the property address, okay? That information does autofill from the opportunity in KW Command. Your brokerage info pulls from the white pages, okay? So some of that detail does autofill from Command itself, just in case you're wondering how this information got in here. Um, and just a heads up, any information that you pull in from the template onto this form, right? Anything entered into any of these fields also syncs back to the details section of the room. I know it's kind of hard to see behind my mouse here. Um, it says details right there, I'll show you that. That will all autofill to the details section of the room. Like if you put in the address in the form, it will autofill into the details section and then re-autofill into all future forms that you bring into this DocuSign room that require that information. Okay, so it does work. The templates do work with the autofilling feature to pull from the details and will work back and forth, okay, from the actual form to the details and the details to the form. All right, guys, if you have any questions on that, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. Um, you can email us at support at scottleroymarketing.com. And just in case you would like further info on now how to send the actual template, right, for your clients to sign, how to add it to an envelope, add your recipients, and uh, send it to your clients for e-signatures, the YouTube video in this description um, will be very helpful to help guide you through the general practice of DocuSign. All right, guys, I hope this helped, and I hope you enjoy this new DocuSign feature. I know I'm super excited, so let us know how we can help. Support at scottleroymarketing.com. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.